Our latest analysis of global trends in merger control enforcement is set in a landscape of intense policy debate, allegations of under-enforcement, and attempts by some politicians to influence merger reviews. In response, antitrust authorities got tough. We surveyed 26 jurisdictions and found that 40 deals were frustrated in 2019. This is a notable increase on the previous year. Of these, 20 were prohibited and 20 were abandoned as a result of antitrust concerns. And on top of this, authorities cleared 143 transactions subject to remedies. The UK authority was the standout enforcer. It frustrated eight transactions and sent significantly more deals to phase two. It also called for rule changes which, if adopted, would greatly increase the enforcement bite of the UK regime. And, outside the UK, reforms to rules may also be on the cards as antitrust authorities grapple with how to respond to increasing demands for change. In the report, we discuss the key areas where we may see formal amendments or at least adapted approaches. But in the meantime, rules are rules. Last year, we saw antitrust authorities continue to take a strict attitude to breaches of procedural merger provisions, such as gun jumping or providing incorrect information. Fines of nearly 145 million euro were imposed in 40 separate cases. Again, the UK authority in particular bared its teeth, ramping up enforcement in this area. Looking at sectors, and as expected, we witnessed a real focus on digital, not only in policy circles, but also in enforcement. Both telecoms and media experienced a higher share of antitrust intervention when compared to global M&A activity and the technology sector saw rising enforcement levels, a trend which may well continue. All in all, 2019 was a bumper year for merger enforcement, and we've seen no let-up in 2020 so far. We're set for a very interesting year.